guys, it's Tina. I wanted to film a YouTube journey video. I want to do these videos at increments to be able to look back on and to see where I've come from and how far I've come. That way, if I am still doing this in like four or five years, I can look back and see my progress. Well, I chose to film this video at my three months close to YouTube birthday. I've been on YouTube for three months now. My first video was uploaded on July 22nd. Today is August 25th. I wrote down some things that I just want to put out there so when I look back I can see how much I grew, what my progress was, and I just thought this would be fun. On October 25th I have 57 subscribers. I have uploaded 28 videos not including this video or any of the other videos that I have in queue to edit or anything and I have made a couple of booktube friends, which was super exciting considering what I expected was, I expected to only ha still have like the five family members that I asked, forced to subscribe to my channel so I wouldn't start with zero and maybe one or two more, but that is not what happened. I have made a couple of friends, which is pretty exciting, which is the whole point of me starting this channel is to have some book friends to talk to about books and to get recs and share my thoughts and just have a good time. So yeah, what I'm liking about having a booktube in this channel is the people. The people are super nice. I know everybody says that, but it's super true. And when I started booktube, I was like, Everybody says people are nice and I didn't realize how welcoming and nice booktube really is. When I first uploaded my first video, there was a couple of booktubers that came by and said, hey, welcome to booktube. It felt like kind of a welcoming community to me. Side note, tangent. I am not a gamer. My children and my husband are, but I do play some some games. Like I play Sims, I play Zelda, and I play Bubble Bobble. Ah, I'm dating myself. <laughs> if you know what Bubble Bobble is, comment below and you'll be my, you'll be my best friend. So in Sims, when you create a new Sim and you put them like in a house, what happens is like the welcoming committee comes and they have like a little party. That's what I felt like happened when I uploaded my first video. There was, there's like a, a couple of YouTubers that I think like seek out the new ones and comment and leave encouraging comments and thoughts and stuff like that. When people said booktubing is very welcoming, very nice and all of that, what I perceived that as is you don't get a bunch of mean hate comments, but what it really is, is it it's pretty welcoming. Everybody's pretty nice. I, I haven't had one mean comment to this day. I still haven't had a thumbs down, which I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, that's something I didn't expect to happen, but did happen and I really enjoyed it. It's really fun. What I'm struggling with is editing. That That's my biggest feat right now because I have, worked with four different editing softwares. The problem I was having is each editing software would just work for a little bit and like shut down. I started with Shotcut. I edited a couple of videos on Shotcut and then that program started shutting down. And the thing about that is, is I don't have the presence of mind to save while I'm doing work. I just hyper-focus and like do the work and don't think to save. When it would just close down, I would lose everything that I did. It's terrible and horrible. I switched to, I think, Hyatt editing software and the same thing happened there. It worked for a couple of videos and then that software just started shutting down. Then I switched to DaVinci and that worked the longest. That worked for like a month, a month and a half. And then that started shutting down. And then I switched to Premiere Pro. And finally at Premiere Pro, for one thing, Premiere Pro saves for you. I don't have to worry about that, which is amazing for me because I'm just that kind of person. And number two, Premiere Pro told me your graphics card driver is out of date, which the other guys never told me. So I could have not had these problems 
but I didn't know. Now I'm with Premiere Pro. I've only edited one video off of Premiere Pro. This will be, this video right here will be my second. We'll see how that goes. And my last video I edited with Premiere Pro, which was the, how I read with dyslexia and ADHD. And I'm really proud of that video. That is my biggest struggle, problem, learning curve, everything. That's just, that's the part that I hate about this whole experience is editing and working with editing softwares. But hopefully I can just stick with one and learn it and be able to, you know, figure out editing because having to learn that many editing softwares is, it's just overloading my brain. I can't, I can't do it. That's my biggest struggle right now is editing and finding my flow. Like, do I upload three times a week? Do I upload twice a week? Do I upload once a week? What best fits with my schedule, with uploading, and how many times I should upload, or whatever. Because another big problem is I'm taking time right now out of reading to film and upload these videos. Because normally right now in my pre-YouTube life, I would be reading right now instead of filming a video. So I read a lot more books, so it slowed down my reading, I have to get my workflow better. That's just it. I have to get my workflow better and I have to get my life like structure habits in flow in order to be able to effectively do this. As of right now, I'm dropping it down to twice a week to see if that works better for me and my life and all of that. So for the rest of this year, my plans for this channel is to try to figure out editing and to get that down to where I am pretty decent and good at it. Also to try to figure out talking, like my brain works faster than my mouth. What I want to say just doesn't come out right a lot of the times. Me as a person, I work better like in a back and forth conversation. I think I give better information when I'm asked a question or when I have back and forth dialogue with somebody. So sitting here, just talking to basically myself for the time being, it's a struggle for me to come up with the words I want to say and what I want to say and adequately convey my thoughts to you guys. So that's another thing that I'm trying to figure out what is best for me. Do I script my entire videos? Do I just put bullet points? Like I'm trying to figure out what works best for me and that aspect. So those are those are my plans for this channel. Figure out editing and figure out how to talk to the camera and convey all my thoughts. Because when I go back to editing, I'm like, oh shoot, I should have said it like this. That would have been better. Or, uh, oh, I forgot this point. That would have been better. So I have to figure out how to make sure to get all my points thought out before I shoot. So that when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, I could have done all of this other stuff way better. But that's a learning curve. So that's my plans for this channel. Reading plans for this channel would probably be, I want to get back to reading more indie authors. Like for the longest time, that's all I read was indie authors. And now because I'm watching booktube more and a lot of booktube goes for the traditional pub authors, well, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just how it is. I want to get back into searching my indie authors and finding indie books that I like and love to read and get back to that kind of, or make it like half and half. I don't know. I miss, I'm missing my indie authors. I guess that's it. This is my journey update. Hopefully in three months when I do this again, I will have my editing figured out and maybe a little bit better speaking in front of the camera. And I'll have different goals of things that I need to work on to make my YouTube channel better, more entertaining for everybody to watch because that's, that's the whole point, right? To entertain people or to, you know, create discussions or, you know, that stuff. Thank you to all my subscribers who have decided that they're going to come with me on this journey from the beginning of my not so amazing videos to hopefully my videos getting better and better and better over the, the time as I learn. If you have a YouTube channel, what are your struggles? If you are a seasoned YouTuber, how did you fix or get over or figure out how to overcome those struggles? Do you have any tips for three month year old newbie? But that's it. That's all. That's, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and enjoying whatever it is that you're doing or reading. So like, subscribe, comment, let me know how you're doing. Okay.
Bye. What I'm str- Um. What is going on with my lighting? Ooh, um. I don't know where my planes are. I had a good question last time I filmed this.